They said it would be a quiet place and the skies would be clear. Astrophotography road trips to dark sky locations are always one of the things I look forward to the most. There's just something about going out with some fellow astro buddies with only one goal in mind. Enjoy the night sky to the fullest while trying to capture the experience on camera. In this video I go to Eiffel National Park in Germany together with Martijn. Join us on our adventure. Are you happy more time? <laughs> they said it would be a quiet place and the skies would be clear. So we are standing in the rain. <laughs> and these guys here in front of our hotel, they start at seven o'clock. So that's about, I think one hour before we hopefully come back tonight. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So what is our plan anyway? We had blocked this astro photography weekend in our agendas for some time now. The plan was to go to a dark sky location within a maximum driving distance of about 10 hours. Because of the constantly changing weather forecast we had to be super flexible and choose our location just a couple of hours in advance. To use our rare dark sky time to the fullest we decided to shoot foregrounds during the first half of the night. Of course we made sure with photo pills that our Milky Way position would be realistic in the composition though. After that we would look for a good location to shoot all our tracked and stacked sky exposures and blend those together with the foregrounds we shot earlier. Good evening, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm here with uh, Martijn and we are on a road trip to Germany, to uh, Eiffel uh, National Park. You can already see a telescope behind me, but if you look that way, maybe the long time viewers will recognize this telescope. It's the uh, Stockard telescope. I've been here before with uh, Kevin Oudman about a year ago. Um, yeah, Martijn wanted to, to shoot this uh, telescope and I don't blame him because it's a nice telescope. So I'm hoping to shoot this little one uh, later tonight. Uh, yeah, I hope later tonight because the weather hasn't been kind to us. We've had rain, we've had clouds as you can see, we've even had snow. So yeah, let's hope it uh, stays clear and uh, we get to shoot some Milky Way core rising. Finally, after two months of absence. So, after about five minutes of scouting, uh, we have another rainstorm, or rainstorm, rain over us. But it seems to clear in about, I think, 10 minutes. And then we have a small gap of half an hour, hopefully, to still shoot foregrounds here of these telescopes. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed indeed. <laughs> Okay, so that's uh, the foreground in blue hour of this small telescope done. Uh, it was a bit tricky, we were fiddling around uh, yeah, to get the uh, saucer of the, uh, of the radio telescope free of the tree line behind it. So we got really close and really low to the ground and uh, yeah, let's see uh, how it turns out if we uh, blend it with the sky shot above it. We ended up not even using the shots we made at the telescope. Later tonight we would find compositions we were even more enthusiastic about. Position number two. We are uh, at the. Uh, yeah, we're not sure how it's called, but we call it the Space Church. Space Church. Indeed. It looks uh, like yeah, straight out of a science uh, science fiction uh, movie. What are your compositional ideas here? Uh, well, I'm, I made a shot quite quite close to the uh, to the Space Church. Yeah. Uh, and and I think we are going to combine it with a uh, 24 millimeter Milky Way stack. Yeah. But that's what I think right now. But. Uh, but I also made a shot a little bit further, so I think there are also possibilities for a 20 millimeter or wider. But yeah, 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 true. Yeah, we, we started out with a bit further away, but then we thought, yeah, wouldn't it be cool to come really close to the uh, space church and uh, shoot at 40 millimeter and shoot straight up so that you have yeah, some converging lines. Uh, so it creates some depth and yeah, the subject becomes really strong. So yeah, let's uh, see how that turns out. In the meantime, it's uh, become pretty clear. We get less and less clouds. So yeah, uh, from snow to stars. From snow <laughs> to stars. <laughs> Let's see how that goes the rest of the night. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so we are uh, on to location number three already. In the meantime, it's become crystal clear, so we have good hopes. Um, yeah, we are now uh, at a uh, hunter's hut, and I've shot this hut actually before with uh, Kevin Outman. But uh, now I'm uh, looking um, yeah, to make a 50 millimeter composition with just the silhouette of the, uh, of the hut at the top of the hill. And uh, we're now uh, walking to it because, as I did before, we want to put a video light in it so that it emits just a bit of orange glow for a bit of extra special effects. So we see sickness already rising, so uh, in a couple of hours that will be uh, the top of the Milky Way arch. So yeah, the night's progressing beautifully. So this is how it looks at 50 mil, without the video light, pretty cool. And just a little bit effect with the video light in it, look at the difference it makes. I really like this. Imagine a 50 millimeter Milky Way above it, square crop. Nice. So this is uh, how the inside looks. <laughs> Pretty basic, eh? There you put the video light. Okay, we're now on the move <laughs> because we saw, uh, we heard. Uh, wild animals somewhere in the bushes we saw some uh, eyes reflecting so <laughs> getting a bit scary right yeah we already also heard some noises so <laughs> back to the car fortunately the animals were kind to us and we to them we had one more foreground in mind before going to the sky location So that's the, uh, I think the last foreground done, the uh, shed. It turned out way better than expected, I think. But uh, yeah, we'll see uh, <laughs> when we get home. Uh, we now are packing up and uh, going to our sky shot location uh, we have in mind. We have a beautiful view there on the uh, southeast where the Milky Way core will be rising. And um, yeah, it's only about 10 minutes drive. It's crystal clear, also really cold, but we don't care because it's crystal clear. So uh, let's go to the sky location. So we uh, have arrived at our sky shot location. Fortunately, uh, yeah, there's a really large field here because we were not the only ones. There's a famous uh, chapel here just behind us. And we were halted by a, by, by a guy who was really stressed out because he was making a time lapse of the church. So he was worried that we would drive by and ruin his time lapse. We didn't, so uh, yeah, we just uh, di discussed where we could stand so we wouldn't ruin his time lapse, so that's fine for us. So uh, let's get to work. For me, this moment remains the best part of an astrophotography night. While the trackers were running, we had nothing else to do but enjoy the stars for two hours straight. Alright, so uh, as our darkness is over, Martijn is uh, packing up. He just finished uh, shooting his last foreground here, the uh, little church. What did you shoot here uh, exactly? What uh, is the I idea? I did a 50 millimeter foreground shot uh -huh. to combine with the 50, 50 millimeter core, including row shot. Nice. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that shot. There's so much <laughs> detail, so uh, yeah. That's 50 millimeter shots here from a good board of four. It looks so insane. We are now, um, yeah, we have been shooting um, uh, at a pretty dark location, and we could see the dust lanes running through the Milky Way. Uh, from the moment the core rose above the horizon, it was just crystal clear all over. So, yeah, 
it started with rain, snow, uh, during the foregrounds it became a bit more clear and while it was really important uh, for the sky, yeah, it was just crystal clear, <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, I think uh, we'll sign off here. We've had a great night. Hopefully we also get some clear skies tomorrow or the day after because we have blocked our whole weekend also with some other astrophotographers. So um, yeah, maybe another vlog from Germany, France, maybe somewhere else, we don't know yet. But <laughs> <laughs> for now, thanks for watching. See you on the next one, bye bye. But of course not before showing you our final results. Let us know in the comments what you think and don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>